Hey everyone, what's going on? Sandy Richard here. Today I have an intermediate tutorial to go through. I'm going to show you how to build a simple teleport system in the sandbox without the use of presets. Yes, no presets. Boop, boop. First, I'll give you a little bit of a demo of what we're going to do today. So here we've got four different areas. We can come into the game now. If we run over to the sign, where would you like to travel? Say we want to go to the stone area. Here we are. We can also say we want to go to the grass area. Perfect. And we can also say that we want to go anywhere on here. Look at it. We've also put no in case you don't want to teleport anywhere. Um, back to the sun, say. There we go, chat. So we're going to build this today. Over here, I've built a little bit of a demo room for you. So here you can see step one is questions for locations or a button for a single destination. There, at the back, we have a button. Here, step two is we have an asset spawner, which is also a speaker. And step three is we want to have a speaker. This speaker detects that the spawn has been created and then sends the message to kill the player. Um, sorry. The player will teleport over and then the stop sign will recognize that the player's arrived and it'll kill the checkpoint that was underneath us. So, over here into the building. Step one, in my case I've used a sign. We want to give it the behavior of an asker here and we have also added an indicator. It's just something I've done, you don't need to do that, it's up to you. So we've just done that to make it easier so when the player approaches the sign it prompts them to press E so that the question pops up. The question would be where would you like to travel? So we've chosen our different locations here, I think we have grass, stone, sand, wood before. And then if we edit the logic, you can also see that we chose the different locations. I just put here, teleport to sand, stone and grass. So you can create your own message there so you recognize which one's which. Uh, moving on, now we go into step two, where we're going to have another asset here now. And that asset is going to be an asset spawner and the behavior. In our case, we chose a stone carving just because it's quite thin and you can choose what you like. We've chosen no behavior, but it's going to have the tag, which is the same as the respawn tag, which is in your global parameters, controller, components, and then the respawn tag here. We also want to change these two to be the same. And the send death, the message sent on death is going to be kill. It has to be killed with a capital K because this is the default message of the health component once we add it to an asset. Uh, we do the death delay as minus two because it doesn't play the animation. So our player doesn't look like he dies, he just teleports. So you want to add that tag there, add the component as health. I've also added no collisions. Uh, you can choose what you like. Here we have the required message will be the message from step one, which will be one of these here. So you'll have one of these each location, like I did on my example before. Which is perfect. Also to this stop sign that we've put in, we're going to add the speaker component, which is going to detect the entity of an avatar, which is the player. And when it detects the avatar, it will send the message to kill. So this is going to recognize that the player has arrived after the teleportation, and it's going to send a message to kill the spawn point that it spawned. Finally, coming on to the last step here, we also need to have an asset that is going to be where this is as a speaker. I advise that you do have it turned off and you have no collision on. Um, it can be a numpad, it can be any asset you like, I just chose this one as an example. It's going to detect an entity with the tag checkpoint. So this will live here and once the message has been sent from our sign to our stop sign, that will spawn 
the checkpoint. When the checkpoint arrives, this stone carving will see the checkpoint with the tag and it's going to send a message to kill the player. The player will die, they will come to this spawn point that's arrived. Our stop sign will detect the avatar and then it will send the message to kill the spawn point that's underneath it. So I hope that kind of runs through the simple way to produce a teleporter for you. And like I say, without the use of presets, um, the Game Maker is obviously a powerful tool and it's many different ways to achieve the same thing. Um, feel free, this is just an example of what I've thought. Um, Cyber Dragon has done it slightly different, I believe. There's also, if you do one, drop in the comments below, let me know, and um, see you in the metaverse. Thanks very much for watching.